Aquarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Aquarius, this is going to be behind the scenes on your person, alright? So we are getting really nosy about them just for you, Aquarius, because you're special. You, know, you totally are. You guys are the King of Swords. Let's get into the reading. Yeah, this is a general reading, uh, Aquarius, so it may or may not resonate. And let's see, and we're going to get kind of really nosy here all about whoever you are dealing with, right? So let's see what we have for Aquarius, please. So many energy for Aquarius' person, rather. Yeah, this is for your person. And the energy that they have is hostilities. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> okay, your person could be like, this could be like angry, hostilities. Let's see. Look at that. And then we have Angel of Love. So this is really interesting here. I mean, these are to totally, uh, you know, Angel of Love is somebody who kind of like manifests love for themselves. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we can kind of uh, see here about the Angel of Love. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are uh, to you an Angel of Love. Let's see what we have. Okay. And we have tender connections. All right, maybe you thought you had a tender connection with this person. This beautiful angel comes with roses in her in her hair and rose-colored wings. That's beautiful. She has a rose quartz, quartz heart, radiating tender and loving vibrations, bringing you compassion and affection. Uh, you know, but it's here with this hostility card. So let's see uh, what that's about, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, this all this has to do about some type of contender connection that your person has. If you're looking for new love, the angel brings a message of its upcoming approach. Uh, you know, your person could have a new love coming into their life. Let's look at the, the hostilities card. It's kind of interesting here. Defense is up and aggressive energy. So the angel of love could be somebody coming to them. It can be. It could be them uh, possibly manifesting love right now. Maybe you think they are an angel of love. It's going to depend. But this hostilities card, this card shows a man raising his sword and ready to do battle. When it comes up right, it reveals a situation where hostilities towards you are about to be or have already been engaged. Your person has some type of a hostile situation with somebody. I don't know if that's you or not, right? Let's see what else we have for uh, for Aquarius' this person. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody's being hostile to them. The rat, somebody's working against you. So somebody's working against your person <laughs> behind their back. Yeah, and maybe it's this hostile person, right, who's hostile to them, right? They could be, they just have their defenses up. It's not saying that they are really being hostile. They're kind of dealing with hostilities, right? They are. Let's get one more card for Aquarius' this person. The spear heartache over what you no longer have. So your person no longer has something over here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Or maybe they're dealing with, you know, I, maybe this is you, though, showing up in their reading. Well, we're going to find out, right? Let's see what we have for Aquarius's person. Yeah, show me the energy for Aquarius's person, please. Because this could be their story. They might, yeah. It could be, you know, somebody could be being hostile with them. Uh, looks like somebody is kind of working against them here for sure. And uh, so let's see what we have for Aquarius's person. Let's look at the heart of the matter for them. We're going to get a few more Oracle cards, but let's see. The heart of the matter for them is the Six of Cups reversed. Mm -hmm. The Six of Cups reversed, Aquarius, is usually returning to somebody from the past. Right? This is somebody from the past, typically, and the Six of Cups is reversed. That's what that means, usually. The Queen of Cups is showing up here for them. This is the influential energy. The Ten of Cups is coming into play for them. And they have the Page of Cups over here. Your person looks like they have a love. Somebody somebody maybe who's in love with them, or something like that. Mm -hmm. This looks like maybe some type of situation they're in. Possibly with more than one person. Yeah, the angel of love here. Because these are conflicting, and that's what I was saying. It looks kind of weird. Let's see what we have. And the four of swords, energies that are leaving them, energies that are coming soon. It's the eight of cups. Mm -hmm. 
And how other people affect them is the Fool card. Somebody's taking a chance on them. I feel like that's it. I feel like somebody's taking a chance on them, and, and they, whoever's taking a chance on them could possibly be walking away from a situation. Because this is coming soon, the Eight of Cups. Mm-hmm. So let's continue. And how they are affecting other people is the Knight of Wands. They could be making somebody take action here or encouraging them or, right? And their hopes and fears is the Seven of Cups. So, you know, I mean, this could be a few things. They could be hoping somebody's going to make a really hard choice because in the hopes and fears position, or they're fearing somebody has options, something like that. Maybe this is about you, but you are not the Queen of Cups, uh, Aquarius. No, you are the Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. So let's see here, uh, and let's look at the heart of the matter for them. It's the Six of Cups reversed. Page of Wands showing up. Yeah, it's interesting how somebody has these, uh, whoever put these uh, kids on this card, like whoever the artist was, it does look like they are sisters and brothers, right? These two little, uh, it's a little, yeah, it's a little boy and a little girl. It's very cute, too. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. But, you know, maybe this is about their kids, but I feel like it's not. No, I feel like it is not, not with this. Uh, I feel like it's not. So let's see. They have the Page of Wands, Aquarius, right? And the Page of Wands is like a new direction. I feel like they're returning to somebody or somebody's returning to them. And it's a new path for them. The Queen of Cups, like a new path, even if they're returning to somebody. It's like a new beginning with somebody from their past. I feel like that's the case here. Why is this Queen of Cups there? Mm -hmm. The Justice card. Page of Swords. So, you know, this is the influencing energy. Somebody is... Maybe thinking about a marriage, thinking about a Libra, thinking about some type of justice. Somebody doesn't have enough information here. I feel like this could be somebody else. Like your person, I can't yeah, have this third party all the way. Let's continue and find out. And remember, somebody's working against them. So it's the rat, right? So if somebody's working against them, there could be third party energy here. Somebody could be really angry and hostile that they maybe are the angel of love waiting for somebody to come. Remember I was reading that. The angel of love can be incoming love. That's exactly what it said. And whoever is hostile here could be the one who is heartbroken over what they no longer have. <coughs> Let's continue. This is a layered reading. All right, some people like to say convoluted. <laughs> I would call it layered, yeah. So let's see what we have. I feel like that has to do with sometimes more about business, right? Let's look at uh, their highest expectations. Let's look at the energies that are coming into play. Ten of Cups for your person. Why is that Ten of Cups there? I feel like you're not with this person, whoever they are. Two of Wands. Maybe you're with them, but... Um, Maybe you're with them. This is the third party that they're dealing with, kind of. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem like that. Okay. And the Ten of Cups, Two of Wands, and the Hermit card. This is coming into play for them. Somebody could be choosing them. They could be getting their happily ever after here. This could be saying someone's at a crossroads, too, about them. But next to the Ten of Cups, um, it could be. Let's see. Let's get another card. They could be dealing with a Virgo. Why is the Hermit card there? And they have the Page of Pentacles. Your person has a new start with somebody. Mm -hmm. And the Page of Cups and Temperance, your person might be Sagittarius, right? Mm -hmm. They could be Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Je uh, Libra's here. And then uh, Virgo is showing up so far. So their highest expectations here is something, a love offer here, but it's a burden. Ten of Wands. This reading is about a few people here. This person could be waiting for somebody from their past, and somebody else is really challenged by it and hostile, yes, and maybe trying to stop it, right? Uh, yes, the rat, somebody's working against you behind your back, heartache over what you no longer have. I feel like this other person, somebody's working against them who's heartbroken, and there's hostilities here because some they're returning somebody like, 
your person is returning to somebody from their past or that person is returning to them. The energies that are leaving your person. Yeah, this is a reading about four people. You, like from afar, your person, somebody else, and the person, and like a third party. And so the Four of Swords, the Chariot card, and the three of sword, Five of Swords is reversed. This is the energies leaving your person. Or leaving them, like leaving their energy, kind of, which could be somebody else too, maybe. Mm -hmm. The Five of Swords reverse is usually despair. Mm -hmm. Or somebody could have been manipulating, playing mind games in the past. That's why it's in the reverse. But the energies that are leaving them here is, I feel like somebody was, there's some type of victory and somebody was in despair about it. Maybe overhealing a situation. And I feel like there is healing here. Mm-hmm. Your person has the Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands. These are energies that are coming soon. And we see down here, they look like they have a new start, maybe with their happily ever after, maybe with a Virgo. But over here, uh, the energies that are coming soon is the Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands. Like somebody's leaving somebody to come to them, kind of, right? Or somebody's... This is coming soon. Somebody's walking away from somebody because they have a new start down here. Why is that three of wands there? I feel like your person is manifesting somebody from the past. I feel like it's been a burden to them because somebody, I feel like this, somebody that, if their person is leaving somebody, that person is like kind of working against them. I don't feel like this is your energy. Working against them because they're heartbroken. So let's get another card. This is a trip reading uh, to, to some extent. This is energies that are coming soon. Eight of Cups, Three of Wands, Seven of Swords. Somebody's turning their back to leave somebody, I feel like, to manifest it with you. Mm -hmm. Three of Wands. And this is like sneaky energy. Like somebody's planning to leave really soon somebody else. Wow. How other people are affecting them, Aquarius, is the Fool card mm -hmm, and the Six of Swords. For me, your person, how uh, other people are affecting them, somebody's leaving somebody here for your person, Six of Swords, and taking a chance on them. There's kind of no other way. I mean, there are other ways to look at it, but that is like the main way uh, in this general reading. The Knight of Wands is... Uh, how they are affecting other people. The Knight of Wands and the Hangman. There could be a Piscean here, right? And there could be also... Uh, there could be a Piscean here. There could be a Sagittarian here who is this Knight of Wands, right? But this is how they're affecting other people. I feel like they're making somebody kind of make somebody take action. Let's see. I feel like they're making somebody feel really stuck here as well. Yeah, I feel like they are. This person who is heartbroken, why is this hangman there? The strength card. This is how they're making other people feel. Maybe trying to have courage about a brand new beginning in love, the Ace of Wands. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're making somebody have courage here to have come to them and have a brand new beginning in love. I feel like that's it. That's why they have the Angel of Love. Somebody's coming... Somebody, they have new love. It's not even new love. It's somebody from their past who is coming to them. And that person is leaving somebody here, and that is the person who has hostilities. That is the person who is heartbroken, and that is the person who is working behind your person's back. The Seven of Cups is showing up, and this is what they're uh, hoping or fearing. I feel like what this is, is this reading is a trip and a half. Mm-hmm. I feel like what this is, is that your person here... Their hopes and fears is they're hoping somebody's making a, a, a really hard choice here to end the situation, to end this other situation that is creating, a, bringing heartbreak to somebody and creating hostilities. The scary thing about here is that it says for your person, somebody is working against you behind your back. That's a little scary. I feel like it is for your person. 
the four of cups you could be saying i don't care i feel like you're not i feel like i feel like you're really not a part of this reading and this is somebody from your past uh, aquarius you're not with them or if you're like seeing them it's really spotty like you know can they ever hear from them things like that so they're fearing, you know, I feel like they're hoping somebody's going to reject somebody here. Mm -hmm. We're going to go over to the extended Aquarius. I really want to see that reading. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see their outcome and how they feel about you, what's challenging them, what you don't know about them. Yeah, what they desire and also their future. Thank you so much for all super affordable, you guys. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.